Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today, going to be doing a simple tutorial on Caden Live, relatively straightforward, showing how to pan, zoom, and move around images. Now, if you're also a documentary fan, you've probably seen this done so many times, where you know we'll we'll cut from an interview to a still photograph, and typically just having a still photograph in a video that's just doing nothing looks a bit kind of boring so it's very common to you know start zooming in or zoom out or move or less commonly move across the photograph uh, or infographic all these things are very easy to do in Caden Live so I've just added these two fellas into my Caden Live here and I'm going to start with the alphabet board I've just laid out the alphabet on a 1920 by 1080 canvas I'm going to just do a little bit of fade in at the start now the composition that's going to make this work is transform. There's two ways you can do it. I'm going to increase the time firstly. You can either just drag the composition onto the clip or you can right click and then go for uh, insert a composition and then, sorry, insert an effect and then click on transform. Now I've added transform. Now watch, here are some of the things I can do. Firstly, I have a little arrow and this guy allows me to move throughout my clip and add keyframes. So let's say I want to add a keyframe at the one second mark. One, So this is when you're looking at the time here, you're seeing hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So this is exactly one second into the video, one second and zero frames. I'm going to add a keyframe here. So for the first second, nothing's going to happen. And I'm going to add another keyframe at two seconds. So over the course of one second, we are going to be zooming in towards the end, the center. Now, I'm going to show you in a second how you can actually drag using this little sort of arrow thing, and there's a little red dot at the center, but let's just look at what we've done so far. We start with our alpha, one second, one second stationary, one second slow zoom in. And let's say I want to hold that for a second and a half, so at about this mark in the video, I'm going to add another keyframe. And then I'm going to shimmy over to the right. Now you can do this in one of two ways. You can drag this guy, the red. So watch what's going on here. But as you can see, I, this is it's very hard to be precise. So I've actually not kept exactly the same level. If we go back here, we can see I was minus 292. I can use this button to skip to the next keyframe. And I'm going to go to minus 292 so that there is no uh, is no offset. Sorry, next keyframe here. I'm going to bring this back to minus 292. And this is the second way you can do it. Let's say I want to move to the right. So what I'm actually doing here is using the scroll wheel on my mouse. I'm actually decreasing in X, as you can see. The number is getting more negative. And that means I'm moving to the right. Now I can go the other way on my, on my scroller wheel. And I'm... Uh, increasing and I'm moving to the left. Sometimes, like I just did, you accidentally jump off it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And now let's play this back and see what happens. Center. And then we're going to move slightly. And then what I can do as well is add a keyframe. And you have four different shortcuts here. The one that I find very useful is adjust and center in frame. And what this is going to do is basically bring us, zero us off. We're going to go back to, we're going to get rid of that zoom. We're going to go to 100%, zero X offset, zero Y offset. The width is going to be 1920. The height's going to be 1080. And so what that's going to do is actually zoom us back out. And now we're back at the original frame. So let's just one more time look at what we've done here. In, slightly to the right, and then back out. Now to make this more practical, Let's now add our portrait of a man into this video. If I just add the image without any transform, it's just going to show the image for however many seconds I have it on my timeline. But let's say we wanted to do a video-like effect in which, actually I'm going to just shorten this a bit, and I'm going to add it this way just like I did before, insert effect transform. Now let's say we want to start this clip zoomed in on, zoomed in on this gentleman or this portrait, and then we're going to zoom it out. So what we'd want to do is place a keyframe on the very first frame. Now we don't actually need to add a keyframe, and we'll see that the add keyframe button is not there. All we need to do is drag the arrow to the very start, and I'm going to go for 
120, 130, sorry, 150 percent. And then we can go to the very end of the clip and we can add a keyframe here. And this key, this keyframe can be adjust and center in frame. So what we're going to have on the very first keyframe, we're going to start off at 150 zoom. And then over the course of this, it's going to go all the way back to zero. And that's this is how this looks in the video. So from the first frame, we're pulling. Now to do the opposite of that, I'm going to drag the portrait of a man back into the video. I'm going to start with zero. Firstly, we're going to need to add the uh, transform effect. And then I'm going to drag to the last keyframe, add my keyframe and go for 150%. So this is going to be the exact opposite. We're going to start and then we're going to zoom in over the course of that clip. Out and back in. And as you can see, we can also change the duration of the clip and it's going to basically preserve the, uh, that's not going to make any difference. It's just going to, it's just going to mean that the zoom is going to be a bit slower or sorry, a bit quicker because we have less time to work with. Uh, this is really useful. It might seem kind of obscure. I hope I got across what the point of this is. If you are doing something like a documentary and you want to show an image, but you don't want the image just to be still, you can start zoomed in and then move out. That's a zoom out, or you can start out and using uh, the transform effect and keyframing, you can put a keyframe in the last frame and that'll have however long that, that still image is being showed, we're gonna have the motion of an artificial or a simulated or a digital zoom. Thanks for watching, more videos coming soon.